Hi everyone, Mark here from VoiceFlow with a really great template that will surely be popular among kids and families alike. As smart speakers continue to skyrocket in popularity, more and more parents and teachers are leveraging voice assistants as powerful learning tools both inside and outside the classroom. With the number of distractions in today's world, voice technology introduces a fun, engaging, and most importantly, educational experience that lets kids take control of the conversation. In this template, we'll dive into a few ways you can leverage voice, visuals, and audio to build your own engaging children's experience. The Animal Wiki template is a quiz game where you're asked to listen to the sound of a random animal and then guess what it is. It's a good experience for the little ones who will enjoy listening to the delightful noises found within the animal kingdom and the adorable images that accompany them. In this video, we'll walk you through a few simple steps, including creating flows and updating slots, and this is to add new animals, using the audio and visual steps to customize the experience, training your assistant, and then testing and sharing your experience. Okay, let's jump in. At the start of this experience, we have a welcome message, introducing the user to the experience, which is then followed by a choice step. After the choice step is activated, it triggers the random step, which randomly triggers a sound associated with one of the animal flows. All of the potential answers, aka animals, are then stored to the right of these steps, making it easy for you, the designer, to see which animals are potential answers. And it keeps your canvas organized for when you might want to add more animals into your gaming experience. Let's take a closer look at what's happening. After the welcome message, as I mentioned, we have a choice step, which asks the user if they are ready to play. We've also included an error or repair path below, which can be seen here in this red speak step. The repair path handles unexpected user responses and works to get the user back on track. Over here, you can see our happy path. In this experience, the happy path allows the user to play the game for as long or as little as they like. Each time a user goes through the flow, they're asked to guess a sound. And when that's correct, you can see how the flow then re-triggers here at the end. That's when we're able to ask if they want to try with another animal. And we're creating a loop mechanism, which makes it really easy to design a single experience that plays back several times over. But what about all these steps in the middle? Well, that's the game logic, which consists of a random step that randomly selects a path to one of the animal flows. Once the user completes that animal flow, the assistant will jump back into the home flow where they will ask the user if they want to try again. Now, when it comes to the animal flows, they all follow the same structure in terms of how they're designed. The difference in between them lies in how each flow is customized to suit its particular animal. This includes setting the right animal and sound variables, as well as changing the uploaded audio and images. Finally, we've also added a condition to check if the user's answer is correct or not. Let's now walk you through how you can add a new animal of your own. The first thing we need to do is add a path to the random step. Then you're going to want to go into flow view here, and duplicate one of the animal flows. You can do this by right-clicking a flow and clicking Duplicate. You're going to want to rename this as well, so let's type Whale. Since we're already in the flow, we're going to change the animal sound variable values as well as the audio URL and the visual. I can change the variable value now by clicking here and setting this to Whale, and then we'll set the sound here to Sing. For the audio step, I'll be using the audio link from the corresponding Wikipedia page relating to whale sounds, which we've included a link to within the home flow. And for the last step, we'll click the X here to remove the previous image. And now we can drag in our new visual. Okay, awesome. It looks great. Now we need to head back to the home flow, which you can access by clicking the arrow here. And once we're there, we're going to want to drag a new flow step onto the canvas. Let's rename this whale. For this to work properly, we need to link the new path from the random step to our new flow step. We also need to link our whale flow to this speak step here, 
which allows the user to play the game again after completing this flow. Next, we need to select the flow and link it to the whale flow we just created. Okay, great, we're almost there. And lastly, we need to update our interaction model. For this, we'll need to add the new animal name, so whale, to a custom slot. So we can open the interaction model by clicking M on our keyboard. Then we're going to want to select the slots tab. And as you can see, the only slot we have available in that project is the animal slot. And this is the one we want to update. So as you can see, we have all of the animal names available in the game here, along with a few slot synonyms for animals that require them. So we're going to scroll to the end of this list and click on add custom value. And it's here that we'll add the word whale. So this will allow the assistant essentially to recognize whale as an animal when the user answers. Okay, perfect. We're all set here, and now let's test this experience in VoiceFlow's test tool. So we'll click on test. And before we actually dive into the test, let's first train our assistant to account for the new whale flow we just created. Perfect, our assistant is all trained up and ready to go. Now we're going to test this experience using VoiceFlow's one-click sharing which makes it super easy to share your project with anyone around the world. To test this experience using VoiceFlow Share View, we can simply click on the Share button here and then set the test type to Voice and Visuals since we're using Visuals in this project. Next, we'll open this up in a new tab. And there we go. We can put ourselves in the shoes of our users while testing the experience. Welcome to Animals Wiki. Get ready to listen to the next sound and try to guess which animal it can be. Are you ready? Yes. Great. What animal makes this sound? <coughs> you found the answer? What is this animal? A dog. Correct. That's the dog. This dog makes a bark, howl, growl sound. Okay. Do you want to try with another animal? Works like a charm. So that's an overview of our Animal Wiki template. Educational voice experiences like this can play a significant role in increasing engagement and success across any age group. And so we hope this motivates you to design a quiz game of your own. If you want to learn about more ways you can build with VoiceFlow, you can check out our templates library. It's entirely free and serves as a great resource to help build out the vision of your next project.